Hi DIYers, Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to include a Quickset Smart Code 916 Z-Wave lock. Today we're going to include this onto our IQ2 panel as that does have a Z-Wave controller built in, but this lock is compatible with many different types of panels and many different types of Z-Wave controllers. Z-Wave locks are really convenient as after you install them, get them powered up and turned on, and you connect them to a Z-Wave controller or an alarm system. There's lots of really great functionality that you can use with the system as far as locking, unlocking, remote control at the house through the system, or if you have your alarm system activated through a service, there's a good chance that you'll be able to control the lock through the app that you have with the alarm system, depending on what system you have and depending on what service you're using. If you have any questions about those services, which alarm systems are compatible or how to connect these locks, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Today though, we are going to include this Quickset 916 onto our IQ2 panel. Uh, before you include any Z-Wave devices, it's always recommended to exclude them first as that clears out any programming that's in the lock itself. Today, we've already done a default on this lock, so I know for a fact that it is ready to be included into the alarm system. So I'm not gonna run through the exclude first. We're just gonna include it and then try to get it to work. So on the quick set lock, it's really simple to include this device. All you have to do is hit one button on it to learn it into the system after you get the system into learn mode for the Z-Wave. The button for the lock is right on the back. So I'm just gonna turn it around. I've already removed the two screws for the back plate, so this slips right off. And this A button right there is our learn button for Z-Wave controllers. So I'm just going to jump into Z-Wave learning mode on our IQ2. I'm going to slide down from the top, hit settings, hit advanced settings, enter 2222, which is the default code, do installation, devices, Z-Wave devices, and then add device. From here, I'm gonna click on include. And now the device is in learning mode. It's waiting for me to hit the learn button on the lock. So now in the lock, I'm gonna hit the learn button. And as you can see, the controller did pick up the lock. It gives us an ID, a type, and a name. So I'm gonna click add. Oh, I have to change the name as we're already using front door. So I'll just do back door and then click add. So now we've added the lock to the system and we should be able to control the lock through the IQ2 controller. So I'm just gonna put the back plate on the lock and I'm gonna turn it around so you see the front. So I'm just gonna jump back to the main menu. I'm gonna slide over once and I'm gonna slide down to get to our lock. And as you can see, it shows that the back door is unlocked. So if I do lock on this screen, our quick set lock should lock. So I'm gonna hit the lock button And as you can see, the lock is working successfully with the IQ2. That's how to include a Quickset Smart Code 916 lock into a Z-Wave controller. Again, if you do have any questions about this, compatibility with the Z-Wave locks, or if you have any trouble including them onto whatever controller you're using, feel free to reach out to us. You can get us on our website at www.alarmgrid.com. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or give us a call at 888-818-7728 enjoy the video feel free to subscribe and if you want to be notified when we post future videos hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so thanks for watching and have a great day